we have uh, condemned repeatedly. Here again, I will do it. The terrorist attack that took place on the 7th of October and the Israel right to defend itself. But uh, we have also stated equally strongly and repeatedly that this has to be done in full respect of international law and international humanitarian law. And when you look what's happening, you may doubt about it. I don't want to teach any one of you about what is happening in Gaza. 30,000 people dead, 1.8 million displaced, 500,000 people on the brink of starvation. We are facing now a population fighting for their own survival. Humanitarian assistance needs to get into the Gaza, and the European Union is uh, working as much as we can in order to make it possible. But this is a humanitarian crisis which is not a natural disaster. It's not a flood. It's not a earthquake. It's a man-made. And when we look for alternative ways of providing support by sea or by air, we have to remind that we have to do it because the natural way of providing support through roads is being closed, artificially closed. And starvation is being used as a war arm. And when we condemn this happening in Ukraine, we have to use the same words for what's happening in Gaza.